MySQL has long been the world's most widely used open source database software, and the intention of its developers was that it should remain free and open source forever. This free license seemed to be threatened by the acquisition of MySQL by Oracle Corporation, leading to fears that it might possibly one day become commercial. In response to this, the original team behind MySQL collaborated again to produce MariaDB, a direct replacement for MySQL so as to safeguard the future of the software and of the websites which rely on it. The most recent version of XAMPP now includes MariaDB in place of MySQL. The upgrade from MySQL to MariaDB is straightforward and the aim is that MariaDB should be a simple drop-in replacement for MySQL in existing projects. Nevertheless, it's still worth going through what's involved as there are a few steps which are not obvious to get it working nicely and it's important to take care to ensure that you don't lose your existing databases and that you keep any changes that you've made to your settings. If you already have XAMPP installed, but that installation dates from some time ago, your XAMPP welcome page will look something like this. In the next video, we'll go through the simple step of renaming your existing XAMPP installation folder so that all your settings, files and data are kept safe for later use. Once that's done, we'll go on to upgrade to the latest version, which is version 5.6.14 at the time these videos are being made. If you're performing a new installation and don't have an existing XAMPP folder, you can skip the next three videos and go on to number five in the series, Download and Install XAMPP.